We turn now to Congressman Trey Gowdy. He is on the House Intelligence and Judiciary Committees and is also head of the House Oversight Committee, making him a very busy member of Congress. So we appreciate you being here yes, on set. Uh, former FBI Director James Comey today said on NBC, the House Intelligence Committee investigation that you worked on was just a wreck and the report was just a political document. How do you respond? Um, this way, I, I have more confidence in executive branch investigations than I do congressional. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's a wreck. Uh, the witnesses we talked to, no one said that they had any evidence of collusion. And I participated in almost every one of those interviews, and I'm the one who asked the question. So um, from the standpoint of, of where these matters are best investigated, I don't think it's in Congress right now for myriad reasons, um, one of which, Margaret, is when you start with a conclusion. Um, which uh, Adam Schiff did in March of 2017, you have evidence of collusion and then you never ever share it with anyone, um, that investigation is not likely to turn out well. You have asked Adam Schiff for specific evidence that he refused to hand to you? Um, he doesn't have it, so he can't give me what he doesn't have. Um, Adam, before we ever started, said he had evidence of collusion, and this is exactly what he said, more than circumstantial but not direct. Let's lay aside the fact that there is no such thing as more than circumstantial but not direct. There are only There's two kinds of evidence. There's also no such thing as collusion, in a, you point out in There's this not. report, as a legal term. That it's conspiracy, which is why I always ask, you have evidence of collusion, coordination, or conspiracy. The crime is conspiracy. If there's collusion, even if it doesn't rise to the level of a crime, my fellow citizens want to know that. It's important to know that, even if it doesn't rise to the level of a crime. But there was no evidence of collusion, coordination, or conspiracy that we found. Well, you do write about a number of ill-advised meetings, the Trump Tower meeting with Donald Trump Jr. You issue a number of recommendations and warnings about the system simply not being sort of braced for any kind of uh, attack or attempt attack here. So what should people make of this? Well, the real disappointment is we're supposed to look at four things. What did Russia do? With whom, if anyone, did they do it? What was the U.S. government's response in 2016? And then the issue of the dissemination of classified material. Unfortunately, the focus was always on that second prong. Not just what did Russia do, but with whom, if anyone, did they do it? I ask a lot of tough questions on the Trump Tower meeting. I, I was tougher on Steve Bannon um, than any Democrat. Was. So when the transcripts come out, I think my fellow citizens are going to see the Republicans did take it seriously. But when all you're interested in is seeing the president indicted, then yeah, that investigation is not going to turn out well from a bipartisan and standpoint. And you never got to interview Michael Flynn, the um, former national security advisor. We don't get to interview anyone who's currently under indictment. Their lawyer should be fired if they allow us to interview them. So it's a fair point to, to make, though, because clearly the Mueller investigation has a broader uh, set of, of people they're talking to. But the president, when he looks at your report, feels vindicated. Are you saying he should not? Um, I'll be careful how I phrase this. No report, um, the best we can do is say what we learned. Um, I can't say what's in the universe of witnesses we have not talked to. And, and I have always maintained I am awaiting the Mueller investigation. They get to use a grand jury. They have investigative tools that we don't have. Executive branch investigations are just better than congressional ones. Mm -hmm. So um, we found no evidence of collusion. Whether or not it exists or not, I can't speak to because I haven't interviewed the full panoply of witnesses. Do you plan to investigate former FBI Director James Comey, who shared personal memos that he said were unclassified, the president now says they were classified and accuses him of a crime? Um, Congress is not uh, well equipped to investigate crime. I have complete confidence in Michael Horowitz, who's the Inspector General. Uh, that's who investigated Andy McCabe, and then he made a referral to the Department of Justice. I trust Mr. Horowitz to investigate. I have never accused Jim Comey of committing a crime. Um, I've accused him of doing some things that I don't agree with, but in terms of, of, of accusing someone of a crime, um, a member of Congress should not do that. But does um, House Oversight have questions it. for the FBI? Pardon me? Does your committee, House Oversight, have questions for the FBI? Um, I think judiciary would be the better place to ask those questions, and we should, but we should not interfere with ongoing IG and or criminal probes. Uh, the president said this week during an interview on Fox that he was disappointed with the Justice Department and he might change his mind and be involved. Do those comments concern you? 
Um, it depends on what he meant by it. If a president says that the Department of Justice is going to advance my agenda, I mean, think um, President Obama had certain ideas with respect to criminal justice reform that Attorney General Holder did a very good job of carrying out. If that's what he meant, that I want a Department of Justice that's going to advance my legislative agenda, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I think there ought to be, I, I've said it a number of times, prosecutors should have all the resources and all the independence and all the time they need to do their jobs, and my position has not changed. So I want to ask you as well uh, about your committee's investigations or possible investigations. Uh, at the EPA, Scott Pruitt testified this week. What is the status uh, of Oversight's probe into his behavior? We got documents uh, Friday. Um, we are scheduling witness interviews. Uh, the natural chronology of investigations to me is gather the documents, schedule the witness interviews, and then draw your conclusions at the end. Um, what usually happens with Congress is we draw our conclusions on the front end and then we go in search of whatever evidence we want to validate that previously held wrong conclusion. We're gonna do it the way I'm used to doing it, gather the documents, interview the witnesses, and then share it at the appropriate time. So any timeline on that? Um, things don't ever move as quickly as I would like them to. We had a little bit of hiccup scheduling the witness interviews, but I think we've reached a meeting of the minds that uh, we're going to interview those witnesses, and, and we got permission Friday to start scheduling those. Um, over at the VA, there was a lot of talk this week about a personnel matter, although there are bigger issues with the agency itself. But Dr. Ronnie Jackson, who is the president, who is the president's position, uh, was the nominee, no longer is. He's still a government employee. He's been accused of all sorts of things, allegations of handing out prescription drugs, fostering a hostile work environment, possibly drinking while on duty. Do you think, as chairman of House Oversight, that this should require looking into? I think some of those allegations do warrant being investigated. I don't think you want members of Congress deciding whether or not the prescribing of Ambien is within the course of a pro professional medical practice. I, in fact, I can't think of anybody less well qualified to decide whether Ambien should be prescribed um, than a bunch of lawyers. So uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a medical license issue. Hostile work environment would be some combination of the Veterans uh, Affairs Committee um, and House Oversight. But this is a pretty good example of reaching the conclusion and then going in search of the investigation. And, and, and investigations that, that your viewers should have confidence in, do it in the reverse order. You go gather the facts and then you level the allegation. That's just not what's done in our political environment. But there have been questions about background checks, repeated questions uh, with other members of the president's staff as well. On this front, he's still the president's position. If any of these things are true, wouldn't that warrant looking into? Um, and I would hope that it, it, to the extent he has a security clearance, it should have already been investigated. Um, if it deals with this medical license, there's an entity that should investigate that. If it deals with a hostile work environment um, or things intrinsic within, within that office, we have uh, inspector general. Uh, there are a number of entities who can, within their jurisdiction, conduct an investigation. The notion that all of that should be done by Congress, particularly mm -hmm. whether or not medicine should be prescribed. I really can't think of anybody you would less want making, making that decision than members of Congress. Congressman Gaddy, always good to talk to yes, you. Yes, ma'am. You too. Thank you. We'll be back.